Hello and welcome to the very first video of Board the Game. I'm Nick. Messi is leaving Barcelona. Then Messi is staying at Camp Nou. And then Messi is going to PSG. How frequently and for how long we are hearing this now. That's the reason why I decided to start my channel and I believe you will understand me with one of the hottest topics in the world of football. Where is Lionel Messi going to play next season? I'm going to share my opinion with many reason points for every option and I'm waiting for your views in the comment section. Let's see what the future holds for the six-time Ballon d'Or winner. Let's board the game. So, here we go. And first I need to say sorry for my English accent because nowadays I don't have the chance to speak the language so often and I will try to speak slowly, draw and write everything as clear as possible on my board so you can understand me. Behind me, as you can see, I've split the board on four parts. All the options, all the teams in which Leo Messi can play next season, but I want to start with his current one, with Barcelona, and the reasons why Messi can stay in the club from the capital of Catalonia. First and foremost, maybe the most important thing of all written down here, he can be a one club player, he can enhance his legend and distinguish himself from Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, because we know that the Portuguese superstar took on another path, he went through three of the top five leagues, and Messi can do it the other way. For me, as a romantic football fan, it's going to be fantastic. I would love to see him staying in Barcelona and signing a new contract in the summer. And maybe he can join uh, somebody like Francesco Totti, who did it in AS Roma. And of course, point number two, Leo Messi loves Barca. He said it so many times throughout the years. And that's a passionate feeling that can force you and draw you uh, to stay anywhere in the world. And I'm sure uh, that Messi is going to think about it. He wants to be loyal, of course, not only successful, he wants to say thank you to the fans for their support. Maybe now he's, he isn't receiving the support he wants, but of course, all together, they can forget the bad times if Messi finishes his career in Barca. I mean, the bad times, the tough losses against Liverpool, Bayern München, AS Roma a few years ago on Olympico, and uh, if he stays in Barca until the uh, end of his playing days, I'm sure that uh, uh, many of the fans will forgive him, no one will remember the failures and, of course, all the world is going to respect him, even the fans of Cristiano Ronaldo, at least that's my opinion. He can play with Wonder Kids, I mean Ansu Fati, Frankie de Jong and, of course, Pedri right now and he can be the real leader, uh, they need somebody to learn from and somebody to show them uh, how to be successful and I mean the real leader because when he started playing for Barcelona, Ronaldinho was the superstar of the team. Then we had Xavi, Puyol and Iniesta as main figures in this uh, Blaugrana team and Messi was shining around them, but uh, with the help of them. Right now, he's the main man. He, he needs to drag Barca to the top, to drag Barca out of the mud. And uh, if he does it, I'm sure that uh, many of his critics and maybe all of them will remain silent for uh, the rest of his life. Of course, we have an important uh, point here because he knows the league, he knows the Premier Division and La Liga, his opponents as teams, as players, and for him it's, I'm sure, easier to play there, to score so many goals. Uh, we see that he keeps doing it season after season. And uh, if he goes somewhere else, of course, he, he needs to think about it, new opponents, new league, and that's a tough one uh, when you're uh, over 30 years old, of course, even if you're Leo Messi. In Barca, they're preparing for presidential elections. We have three candidates, Fon, Freixa and Laporta. And maybe uh, one of um, these guys, uh, we were sure Messi of calmer future, not only on individual, but also on club level. We were sure him that Barca still has ambitions for the next seasons to win the Champions League maybe. And then Messi can overthink it and say, uh, okay, I'm going to stay here on the Camp Nou. I have two minuses here. And uh, of course, we know that uh, Messi in recent uh, years is the reason for every failure because when Barca stumbles in the Champions League, when um, uh, the ball ground team has a failure, then everybody, even 90% of the fans maybe, are saying Messi is the main reason, he's not the leader and he needs to be, uh, he needs to be better in the games and to, uh, to be the leader of the team. And uh, right now uh, he's used as a pawn from the people in the club and uh, that's not only right now, but maybe even for, uh, from his uh, early days in Barca, even for, from the presidential candidates, right now every one of them is saying if I'm going to win the election, the first thing I will do is I'm going to call Leo Messi and convince him to stay. But I, I'm not so sure. That's so easy right now. And yeah, I think that in Barca there are too many problems right now. And that's a concern for Leo Messi. That frustrates him. And uh, yeah, for me, the chances for him to, to stay in Barca in next season are only 25%. 
I honestly think that his days in the club from the capital of Catalonia are over and the, this great story will not continue and will not finish with Messi on Camp Nou. Let's move on. Okay, we reached the second column and the reasons why Leo Messi will be a PSG player next season. For me, in Ligue 1 in France, he's going to play with less pressure than in uh, Primera División in Spain. And that means better version of uh, Leo Messi in next few seasons. And uh, Ligue 1 for me is a weaker league comparing it to La Liga. Uh, so Messi uh, can have longevity, uh, even, even better longevity than in uh, Spain. And he can break more and more records, maybe even reach Cristiano Ronaldo, what I mean. On scored goals, of course, because the Portuguese giant still has an advantage over the Argentine uh, genius. And this connection here is so obvious because Messi can prove himself out of Spain and also reach Cristiano, who already did it in his um, career, uh, playing first in Portugal, then in the Premier League in England, then in Primera División in Spain and right now in Serie A with Juventus uh, in Italy. New challenge for Messi means, uh, for me, uh, better focus, better concentration and better preparation. And of course, we can have a connection here too, again, leading to a better version of Leo Messi. Compañeros y amigos is an important point for me at least, because um, even right now, Leo Messi has so many friends and uh, teammates uh, in the squad of uh, PSG teammates on national level, of course, that's uh, Angel Di Maria, Leandro Paredes, Mauro Icardi, and of course the manager Mauricio Pochettino. And uh, Messi will feel at home even from the first days in the French capital if he decides to go there. He can play attacking football, he can shine in the attack of uh, Paris Saint Germain because we know that's the that that's the identity of uh, PSG for the past 10 years under the, the Qatari investors. And he can uh, has a chance at the UEFA Champions League uh, because I'm sure that uh, in the end of his career, Leo Messi wants to be successful, not only receive a huge salary uh, over from a huge contract from uh, Paris Saint-Germain if he decides uh, to be a player for the French giant. And Paris, the city of lights, of course. I don't know a man on earth who is going to, uh, to say that uh, Paris is not the best city for living. And it's obvious for footballers, it's even better. And maybe Messi and his family uh, wants uh, to take this uh, step in their lives. And I have this point here, maybe uh, it should have been uh, higher, but uh, he can have uh, he can have his uh, reunion. So desired, we have to say, from both ways with Neymar and they can again play together on one uh, in one team on one field. And we remember how good they were with um, the jerseys of Barcelona a few years ago. Uh, important uh, point is also money. Money are always important. And right now, PSG can give uh, Leo Messi uh, so, may, so much more money uh, than uh, Barca because Barca has uh, financial problems, um, financial crisis in the club from the capital of Catalonia. And uh, I don't see um, the chances uh, to be so good for Barca giving another huge contract for Leo Messi. As we know uh, from um, recent times, the figures of uh, his latest deal, uh, which runs through the summer. and. That's something that uh, just popped up in my mind in the uh, minutes, before, minutes before starting recording the video. Uh, that's the Mbappé case because it's still unclear if Kylian Mbappé is going to stay with the PSG. His contract uh, ends in uh, 2022 in the summer. And uh, for now, in a recent um, uh, poll in French media, the fans of uh, PSG, most of them uh, show that uh, they want uh, Kylian Mbappé to sign a new contract. Uh, over the signing of uh, Leo Messi and if the Argentine uh, genius uh, goes to the French capital I'm almost sure that Mbappé uh, is going to leave and we have still two options. Forgive me but I forgot to write the percentages of uh, possibility for uh, Leo Messi uh, to be a PSG player next season. Uh, that's uh, my preferred option. I honestly think it's going to happen because of the uh, problems in Barcelona and uh, because of the Argentinians in the PSG uh, squad, I think Leo Messi will be a player of the French end next season. So for me, the percentage here is 45% and I need to check my maths, but yeah, I know what's uh, left for the last two options on my board. I start with uh, Inter Milano. I'm going to leave this blue marker here. I'm starting with um, Inter Milano, a team uh, which persistently uh, wanted uh, Leo Messi in the last few years. Maybe right now Inter and Manchester City are not so popular options when we are talking about uh, Leo Messi's future, but uh, some months ago they were. And uh, I'm sure that Messi feels flattered and uh, he feels desired from the Italian giant. And uh, that's something uh, uh, he can has uh, in his mind. And he can join, jo join Lautaro Martinez, one of the um, uh, best uh, perspective uh, Argentinian footballers uh, right now, of course, a young one, a great forward, 
and he can join uh, Javier Sanetti, an Argentine legend and Inter legend. Right now he's a director uh, for the Nerazzurri. And uh, Messi can continue, as we know, the rich uh, Argentinian tradition uh, for uh, Inter Milano, with so many great players for, from this country, uh, played for the Nerazzurri team. Serie A, for me, right now, is attacker's paradise. We have uh, people like Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, also Edin Dzeko, Fabio Collarella, of course. Uh, they're in the end of their careers, uh, but they're still playing so successful, scoring so many goals, and Messi, of course, uh, can do it even better and he can renew the head-to-head -head with Cristiano Ronaldo but I have this question mark here because I'm not sure he wants to do it uh, in the end of his career and maybe also Cristiano uh, is not on the, um, on the same opinion for the rivalry with uh, Messi. One more plus uh, right down here as a point, the magic of Serie A, the big derbies, the great atmosphere but of course with fans on the stadiums and uh, I'm sure I'm thinking that Messi wants to touch this and to see what's to play in uh, Serie A. Uh, in uh, uh, great uh, conditions on the stadiums and three minuses the media can be your friend if you're playing uh, very good even for a month they can say that you're the best footballer on earth but they can be your worst enemy uh, if you have a bad spell and so many uh, footballers in Italy know that uh, Anglia club future because the Zhang family the owners of Inter Milano are seeking for investors they are looking to sell the club and maybe right now Inter mm, can't um, give assurance to uh, Lego Messi uh, what uh, what are going to, what are going to be the ambitions of the club uh, in next seasons and of course the failures in the UEFA Champions League in recent years uh, Inter is going out uh, even after the group stage of Champions League and as I said Messi uh, wants to win the ultimate goal for every footballer in Europe and that's all for Inter Milano and I think the chances here are only 10% maybe even lower but let's say 10% of Messi deciding to join the Italian gen from the great city of Milano and uh, we reach uh, our uh, last uh, option uh, here that's Manchester City and uh, for so many years uh, we are hearing that uh, Pep Guardiola and uh, Messi uh, they want to come together and uh, again uh, work together uh, even uh, not only with Pep but uh, of course Messi can uh, work with technically gifted players uh, and he can feel great in the team of Manchester City but he needs to think about the toughest challenge and that's the English Premier League because we have these minuses here that's a physical league with a high tempo football or soccer uh, as you decide and we have media criticism the media in the UK in England it's not better uh, from the Italian one and uh, when Messi is not on his uh, best uh, uh, game, it's not uh, in his prime years, I'm not so sure that he wants to take on this uh, toughest challenge. Of course, he can receive so much mo money uh, also from Manchester City, not uh, only from uh, PSG. And I have a minus here, taxes and Brexit, because I don't think things in UK are still so clear after um, uh, the Brexit. And uh, we know through the years that Messi and Cristiano uh, refused to go to the Premier League uh, because of the high taxes and for Manchester City uh, if I'm right with uh, every number here we have 20% chance of Leo Messi uh, playing for the uh, team from uh, Manchester and maybe uh, try his work and uh, his skills in the English Premier League and yeah, one last uh, chance for Leo Messi. Uh, that's uh, of course maybe not so popular but uh, we are hearing this uh, uh, from uh, some sources and that's the MLS in USA I'm running it here I think that it's too early for Leo Messi to go to America and the United States but of course uh, he can decide to do it because uh, his popularity will grow even further and he can receive also uh, much more money in the US but uh, for now I think that Leo Messi will stay in Europe that was the first video on board the game I hope you enjoyed it if you think that the last few minutes weren't lost for you and even useful, I will be very grateful if you leave a like on the video, if you share it or even subscribe to the channel, because that's just the beginning of Board the Game. If I forgot something about Leo Messi, then you can share it in the comment section. I'm going to read it with interest. I hope for a productive discussion. Take care and see you soon in Board the Game.